there is a difference between doing a great job and doing your job. And we see it play out all the time out here in sports, on the field of play. And today we are gonna think outside the box scores and look at what that means for giving feedback and false praise. False praise is this, telling somebody they did a great job when they actually did their job. And there is no fault and nothing wrong with doing your job. A reliever who comes into a baseball game in mop-up duty. The game is out of control. All you need to do is throw strikes and just get the game over. You know what they did? their job. And that's exactly what the coach or manager is going to say after a game. Coaches are really good about giving accurate praise because they know it is important in giving feedback. Because if you default to always saying, great job, great job, great job, well, real feedback comes out of the blue and is a complete surprise because you've given no indication that they've done anything but a great job. Here's the other thing it does. It lessens the power of your words. Because if you keep saying great job, but you've got somebody that you know went above and beyond, what else are you gonna say? You did a really, really great job? You did an extra special great job? Well, now I don't have anywhere to go with that sort of praise and feedback. So here's what I want you to think about. Be accurate in the words that you choose when giving praise and feedback. There is nothing wrong with saying, thank you for getting the job done. You did your job and I really appreciate it. That is still acknowledgement and it is still a form of praise and feedback, but it is accurate. And it means that when somebody goes above and beyond or on the flip side of this, when you have to give maybe some more pointed feedback, it's received in a different way. Look, there is enough angst around giving feedback as it is. Don't make this harder by setting up an impossible situation for yourself. Watch how it plays out in sports press conferences and apply that to your business settings. You want more communication tips? Well, you could always email me, but you could also go to the website talksportytome.com.